Hey guys, courtesy of today's sponsor, we are going to be exploring another one of Omni Backupers features. And today we are going to be looking at Omni Backupers sync function. Upon opening up Backupper, we are going to be taken to the homepage. And if we open up new sync from the homepage, we are going to be taken into the sync portion of the software. Straight away, we see four options here. Today we are going to focus on basic sync the most basic of all the features. Now, if you guys are wondering about what the others mean, hit me up in the comments below. I'll either explain it right there in a reply to the comment, or I'll make a separate video about it, depending on the demand. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into basic sync. First and foremost, you are gonna be asked to choose your source and destination drives, just like in Carbon Copy Cloner which I have covered multiple times in the past. Here, if you decide to go for entire drives as your source for the task, Omni Backup is gonna prompt you to use their backup feature, but we're not going to because the backup feature generates a backup image on the destination drive, which is not what we want. What we want is for our files on the source to be copied as is onto the destination. After giving your task a name, we can go ahead and explore some options that Omni Backupper offers. So here you can ask Backupper to verify file integrity, sync the deletions to the, the destination, send email notifications, schedule pre and post commands, as well as set the operation priority and automatically create folders with the same name as the task. As for scheduling, the options are also pretty flexible. So you can see five drop down items here, but I'm just gonna select weekly and I'm gonna set the task to run on Mondays and Fridays at 8 p.m. Down below, we see two more automation options with the first being able to wake the computer for the tasks to run and the second controlling the power state of the computer after the task is completed. Now that we've configured all the options, it's time to start syncing finally. Upon clicking this button, we'll see two options. One's adding the schedule and start syncing now, and the second is only adding the schedule. For the purposes of today's video, I'm gonna add the schedule and start syncing now. It certainly took a while. The source files were pretty large and I had shut down my PC for the night. But here we are. First, let's check out the space occupied on my source drive, my passport. To reduce file system overhead, we are going to move all my contents into a new folder that I created. And if we click on properties for that folder, we can see that after it's done spinning up the numbers that we have size on disk equals to 1.36 terabytes and exactly these many bytes. Remember those figures because we're gonna fact check our numbers when we open up the backup later or the sync rather. And here's what I mean by file system overhead. You can see that we are using quite a lot more when we click on disk properties. Okay, and now let's go to the backed up folder. Now you can probably see why I say I love the sync function so much. I use it pretty much all the time. Okay, anyways, if we open up the file properties for this folder, we can see that after it's done calculating how much space it takes, that it's 1.36 terabytes exactly and that many bytes. We can also see that however many folders and files are there, the counts are correct. And with that, we are sure that we cloned all our content. And this video is effectively over. If you guys liked it, please be sure to give a like and ring that bell. Of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.